There are dozens and dozens of new items joining the Atomic Shop in the next couple of months, all being added to the game files with Update 26. Let me show you the highlights. Hello, hello everyone! Welcome back to another Fallout 76 video. In this one, I will show you a preview of some of the most anticipated new items for the Atomic Shop, like the item overview I made featuring 20 new items coming with patch 26, where I showed you how to get them once they go live. For this video, such a thing is not possible because, as far as we know, all the items you're about to see are not free. They will have an atom cost and it's still not known when will Bethesda release them into the Atomic Shop. As you should know by now, Bethesda only releases a few new items every Tuesday, which means it could take a few months until all the following items are finally live. Anyway, without any further ado, let's get right into it. At the top of the list we have the hot tub, a new well-being item that made a lot of people excited ever since it got data mined a few weeks ago. This is basically the first sort of baiting item we got in over two years, plus it's not just for the looks, no no no, it's also an interactive item, your character can actually get inside the steamy water. I wonder if it can actually clean characters like allies if they decide to go inside. That would be very interesting to say the least. Anyway, the new animation is the sort of semi-crouching or sitting pose where the character's arms get wide open across the hot tub's borders. This item seems to be quite large, so it's probably a great idea to place it on a yard or at the top of a roof, for convenience purposes. Another item players can't wait to put their hands on is the upcoming fortune telling machine. The model already exists in game for a while now at a rusty pick, but this broken machine never got to show us the wonders of fortune telling, sadly. However, players are now getting a brand new and operational version with different purposes. Mm -hmm. First of all, this is not a decor item, far from it. It's an actual fortune teller machine. Yep, according to the data miner Gilpu, there are up to 55 different node combinations, so there's plenty of fortune telling to explore and enjoy. But that's not all, this machine can also boost your luck by 2 points for 30 minutes, it's like a 2 in 1 item and a must have for your camp. If you don't like to buy atoms, then you should definitely save up to get a fortune telling machine once it gets released. Lastly, this item has a previous version where the fortune teller man was older with grey hair. Just a curious fact. Next, we have a very unique skin for the survival tent. True, this is a followed first reward, maybe for May, who knows? So this entry is surely not as exciting for everyone. Nonetheless, this is the first one-of-a-kind skin we ever got for the survival tent. In other words, this new entry called the APC tent will completely change the appearance of your tent into an army tank. It will also come with slightly different items. According to the data miners, this military tent will come without any musical instruments, but it will come with a tinker bench. For the very first time, we get a workbench inside the tent. So it's more than a fair trade to me, I would say. Moreover, the scrap box and the bed will also come with brand new skins, as shown, to follow the army team. So yeah, once this skin goes live, I guess you will see lots and lots of tanks laying all over the wasteland. Too bad they are all placed on a foundation though, because that's a true immersion killer, don't you think so? The fourth and fifth new items are part of the Raider Warlord's outfit, and it's one of the most cool and badass costumes we ever got for 76. The helmet has this true warrior vibe, which totally fits the Raider's faction. As for the outfit, it comes with a lot of medium armor on the torso and limbs, while the underwear is just some casual jeans and t-shirt, typical of the Raiders to go casual. <clears throat> if you're wondering how it looks like in-game, don't worry, Pungu got you covered here. The Raider Warlord outfit features a lot of detail, such as barbed wire on the forearms, leather straps on the back, and even the Raider's icon on the belt. Well, if you are a Raider's fan, you surely don't want to miss this outfit release, that's for sure. 
All right, mailboxes have been a highly requested feature for a very long time. Now, there are new mailbox skins on the way, that is true. Three to be exact, the rooster, the bass and the red rod male. However, they appear to be just that, skins. I looked into the Atomic Shop files and there's nothing much going on there, sadly. I thought that maybe we were getting a new mail system where other players would be able to, let's say, leave a note or send gifts through the social tab, but that's not the case. It looks like more decor items for your camp and that's really disappointing in my view. Still, mailboxes are coming one way or the other. Moving forward, we are also getting another musical instrument, the drums. Not too long ago, Bethesda added the Orgatronic Deluxe to the Atomic Shop. It's a very colorful electronic keyboard, which obviously unlocks the AP boost if you play the instrument for 30 seconds or longer. Now, Bethesda decided to add the drums in the near future, which will work as any other musical instrument, really. At first, I thought maybe this item would unlock something new, but that's not the case, as the data miner Garrus confirmed already. Now, there are a few more vintage items on the way as well. For instance, the vintage water cooler looks like this wooden elegant device, which will also produce water, no joke. It's not just for decor, you can also get some refreshing water out of it. I'm assuming it will be purified water because it doesn't make any sense to be dirty or toxic water, but who knows, maybe the machine is not working properly anymore and something else will come out of it. It's vintage after all. Anyway, there's also a vintage TV on the way called the Aquarium TV, followed by this old school mounted fan for walls. I guess the fans will rotate like the desk fans, the good ones, but once again, that's not confirmed yet. The following seven items are all part of the Red Rocket team. It's not clear if they will all be part of an upcoming bundle, but it's quite likely. Anyway, Bethesda is planning to release another batch of Red Rocket items, such as a large pump sign with their logo, as well as a team desk lamp, a trash bin, and even stairs. But all the eyes should be on the upcoming Collectron station, because it's a very unique one. The robot there is not even the usual Collectron type. It's a brand new type of robot, as shown. Apparently, the station will look like a gas refuel station, and it's not yet clear what will this Collectron sort of robot will scavenge exactly. The pool will possibly feature lots of gas and oil canisters, among other related items, such as tar or even waste oil. I'm sure we will learn more over time. Alright, the next two items are something many players have been asking almost ever since 76 got released, really. I'm talking about room dividers, proper ones at least, but as the has recently added two wooden room dividers to the game files, and they should go live somewhere in the next couple of months. At least now, you will be able to properly divide small rooms without resorting to pretend or wannabe divider items, such as furniture and certain display cases. Plus, they are made out of wood, so they should match pretty well with a huge variety of other items. Another very interesting item on the way is this cooking station skin, which fits the wasteland lifestyle in perfection. I think this is a genius creation, really, because it looks like something we would come up with if we had to survive just with the uh, old world scraps. This cooking station is made with half a bicycle and a shopping cart. Yeah, a shopping cart. And the cooking stove is right below the cart. Where over the basket is, well, the cooking space. There's even some sort of grid for grilling purposes at the top. Now, I'm not sure where your character will sit, but I would risk to say it's right at the bicycle seat. It's what makes the most sense in terms of visual elements we have here. <laughs> well, it's going to be really fun to cook once this item is live. Cash registers are part of the upcoming new items too. There is a bundle with three Nuka-Cola cash registers, one in light green, one in yellow and a red one as well. However, if you pay attention, you will notice that these cash registers require power to work. So yeah, they are not decor items or stash material, they are actually player vendor skins. 
they will feature a few animations such as the cashier opening and closing there's even cabs inside as shown this is by far the smallest vendors we ever had i believe you will be able to place them on all sorts of tables furniture and other you know items with the counter I think it's time to say goodbye to the old spacious versions if you are the minimalistic type of person. There is another prefab coming with the patch 26 game files. It doesn't look very interesting to me though, probably because it's a mobile home trailer filled with rust. It kind of looks unsafe, like it's falling apart. Anyway, it has some pillars and stairs as the foundation, and this is how it looks like when it gets destroyed. If you take a look inside, it's also not very spacious, and from the outside, it doesn't look that great either. At least it's a very good item to immerse yourself with the wasteland and the survival lifestyle. I mean, you need to use what you can get, right? And if that means living in a rusty small home, trailer like this rather than sleeping in the wild so be it i saw that the fire alarm is also on the way and i simply couldn't leave it out of this list because besides being a very cool item to join your first responders collection it also seems to be an interactive item I'm not a code expert, but all these numbers on the file entry seem to indicate this is not a decor item. Otherwise, it would be a rather plain and simple entry, right? I guess you will be able to interact with it to play a specific sound, just like the doorbell or the Halloween radio we have in-game right now. What else can you expect to go live in the following months? Well, Bethesda created a new type of fontaine with the Voltec team. It looks like this. It's a medium fontaine with the Voltec colors and a Volt boy in a peaceful dancing position at the top center. Now, just like the existing rustic fountain we have in game already, you will surely be able to drink out of it. So it's also an utility item more than decor. Anyway, I found another item which resembles a fountain made out of stone smashing a red bird. It's a quite weird concept, but I'm not entirely sure this is exactly a fountain or just some strange garden decor item. So let's leave it there. To finish off, let me show you 7 new decor items. There are many more on the way, but those were my favorites so far. It includes lots of animal figures such as ducks, yes, ducks, in different shapes and colors. Just look at that, we even have a green one. They look so lovely and they will also match with lots of rustic and vintage items perfectly, like a glove. We also have a few more fish figures on the way to join the existing ones. However, they seem to lack texture detail right now, but I'm sure Bethesda will polish them before the release day. Lastly, I selected this bucket of plants with groove flowers inside to hang on your walls. It will match the existing glob and cart we already have. You could even make a small garden with these groove plants if that's what you want to do. Alright, as you can see, there's plenty of new items coming once update 26 goes live. Not all at once, obviously, but in the near future. You should expect all of these items and so many others to hit the Atomic Shop. Sooner rather than later. Anyhow, I know there's many other new items coming, such as the new mannequins and lots of new free rewards. However, you can forget about the power armor display cases for now. They got recently removed from update 26 due to technical issues, in case you are not aware of it yet. Well, at least there's many new items joining the wasteland in the following couple of months. I hope you enjoyed the news and this item preview featuring over 30 items. I am Marta Branku, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more Fallout 76 content. As usual, I want to leave a huge thanks to all my dear supporters, you guys are the best. Well then, it's time for me to go. I will see you all very very soon in the next one. Until then, take care, adios, bye bye!